What's up, family? In this episode of the Zulu Project, we're going to look at beacons. Now, not these beacons, the one by ones you've already seen. But now we're going to look at the two by twos that I've been talking about for so long. They're finally here. Now, these two by twos are a new design. Um, Rob Kleinberg from Brick Stuff actually had a different design, but it was much more limited. Not on what the beacons could actually do, but as far as your colors. You were limited to the um, covering that went over top of the beacon, so there was only four colors. Uh, blue, red, yellow, and orange. Now instead, he has it this small that'll fit right up underneath a 2x2 two two translucent brick. So I'll demonstrate that by using a just a clear one. Okay? Just a clear brick. And this fits right in the bottom. Right underneath. So that's your beacon. Now, what does it look like? It looks like this. Now, because the beacon itself is white, it's very, very bright and it's hard to tell to some degree all that it looks like, but that's one speed. Here are your options on what it can do. It can spin either way, clockwise or counter. It can go faster. Both directions. And it can go real slow. Like what you would see in a lighthouse. Both directions. It also can do a blinking or strobing, if you will. So you have several options. Also, and I'm just using a, like I said, a clear brick. You can change the colors of the lights themselves. Yellow. Red. There are many different color settings. So you can actually change those colors. to be what you want. These are very, very bright. And in a clear brick, it's even brighter. But if you get the color that you want for your brick, and you then have the light that color, I think it'll be a little bit easier to see the colors themselves. But there are many, many options to this. So I plan on having two different uh, sets of these bigger beacons in the Firebase. And I have one done and I'll show you what that looks like. Now 
There you go. And the really cool thing about it is that before, each beacon was around $40, $45. Now, you get two sets of beacons for pretty much the same price, about $40. And two beacons will run together on one controller. So I have the front two together, the back two together, and they run in unison like this. I love it. So I have the other ones put down and have that on the landing pad up top and finish putting everything back together and then at least those beacons will finally be in place. All right, I'm Shere Khan, and until next time, I'm hoping all of you continue your happy building.